is from Time Tech. So this is the Time Tech. It did come in an anti-static bag. I took that off to test out the little rig here. It's the Model 810, M810. And this has got a five year warranty. It's a 2280 drive. So 22 millimeters by 80 standard size. And I'm gonna go ahead and install this. This is exactly how you would install it. Now, your motherboard might be different than this one. You may have it underneath your GPU. You may have to take a shield off if you've got a MATX board or an ATX board. This is an ITX board. It's very easy to get to, which is why I wanted to use it for the show tonight. And I've also installed, just to make sure we're making things even, I've installed Linux on a USB so I can literally start it up here. There's no operating system on the Time Tech. So we're gonna be booting this operating system up right now that's coming off the USB so that when I do these commands and we do the test that it's all independent. So this is what we're doing here. Test NVMe and I'm gonna do the inappropriate use of cat and you'll get to see what it is. We're gonna do four different kinds of tests. We're gonna do a sequential write, a sequential read, a random write, and a random read for 30 seconds each and then we're gonna see how well it does. So let's go to scripts. So it's starting the test right now and it's reading and writing from that drive. In this case, it's doing a write. It's doing a sequential write in like, I believe a 10 gig chunk. So it's gonna be writing as fast as it can to this drive. This is from Time Tech. We're getting here about 2000 megabytes per second. We'll see here at the end, we'll come back and it's gonna spit out a bunch of data and then we're gonna come see it. So there we go, that was the first one. It made it through. It looks like it was about 2078 megabytes per second. The next one is the read speed. So the first one was 2.0 or 2078. Read speed's running through and the read speed came in at 3226. So that was really fast. Now we're doing the random reads and writes and this is important because it is going to uh, you know, really test that drive, not in one sequential order. Now these are DRAM lists, which means it doesn't have the advantage of having cache memory to help smooth out those writes. So in this case, it did 700 megabytes per second on the random write. And the random read now, which is going around the drive is just about to finish. So this is from Time Tech. In this case, we got uh, 599 on the random read. Okay, so 599. So that's the unit right there. And whenever I run, it actually does have a little light on it. So that is the red light coming on right now. So that's doing it. If I cancel the test, there's the random test coming in there. So you can see the lights blinking at different speeds. And if I cancel it all, then we're done. So that was the test on that. Uh, the overall results, let's see if I can just bring them over here. So read speed 3200, write speed 2000. Random was 599 for the read and the write was 700. So not too bad of a, a first showing. That was kind of the dark horse here. I did not know. I have not used Time Tech in some of my builds, so I didn't know how good they would be. So let me know if you've used a Time Tech before. From Patriot, this is a P300, similar Gen 3x4 TLC memory on this. So. You're not gonna go very crazy there. It's saying it has a read speed of up to 2100 megabytes per second. So it'll be interesting to see if it gets that same read speed uh, that we saw on the Time Tech, because the Time Tech did really, really good. This is a fresh drive. That's the other thing is some of these drives can slow down after years of usage, just because of wear leveling and some of the other algorithms on there. Always check and see if there's new firmware too, because these have uh, controllers in them and they do get updates occasionally which can improve performance and we're gonna test the NVMe the Patriot for the first time we're doing that first write test first time it's ever been written to and it's coming in right there at about 2,000 megabytes per second which is what it was quoted as so this will be interesting if the uh, Patriot comes in the middle of the pack and is beat by the time tech i don't know if that's gonna be I'm, this is the the thing is i haven't done any of these testing before you're actually seeing it for the very first time so it's a surprise outcome for me as well okay so that run was 2080 megabytes per second right it is almost identical to the other one i'm looking to see if there's any numbers the range is the same total 
So I'm gonna say 2080. Now this is definitely not reading nearly as fast as the other drive did. So it's coming in around 2000, which is the quoted read speed of it. So it had a 2167 megabyte. So the write speed random was 661. So random write is a little bit slower than time tech. It is winning there so far against the Patriot. Um, this is actually really slow. The random speed for the random reads is coming in at 580. So that's definitely, it was slowing down there at the end. I saw it dipping. So 580 which is good because it's one of the smaller boxes I have to write in. There are the results on the second line for Patriot. 2167 read, 2080 write, 580 random, and 661 for the random write. So the randoms are really close and the write speed is really close, but for some reason that time tech did amazing on the read speed. And I'm not sure why that is. I don't know if it's got some cache tricks going on, but we'll see. The silicone power, we're gonna install it. This is gonna get pretty boring because you guys have seen this a few times now. Gen 3 by 4 they've got a software download. Some of these will actually come with cloning and other software, which is kind of nice. We're not comparing that today. Very easy to install, again. This NVMe has chips on the back side too. The other one was all one-sided. And this is gonna fit, but in some cases, this is the silicone power. Um, you know, if you've got stuff that's right up against the bottom, I don't know what the specs are for distance below the board, but there we go. So that's installed. That's the silicone power version. It's uh, already coming out of the gate pretty fast. I'm looking to see if there's any specs right now that it came up with. So they're saying up to 2200 read and 1600 write. Now that's boosting up pretty fast right now. This is a 10 gig file that it's writing in there too. So it came in at 2829 for the write speed, not bad. There we go. And then we're doing a read test here, which is blowing those numbers away. Now these are supposed to be DRAM-less drives. These are numbers that I would see on kind of a mid-tier drive. Um, so that one just pulled a 3536 read. Just looking at any of the other stats to make sure I didn't miss anything on this one. Now it's doing the random read and write that's already looking really good. So uh, the random write, it looks like was 859. So we're gonna do random write of 859. This is putting it in the lead and a very impressive showing for what is a budget drive and a random read of 1164. Not bad at all. That puts it in first place right now. So if you're a silicone power fanatic, uh, there might be something in there, <laughs> something in that water. Very cool numbers. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the read numbers in here. Silicone power just came in with a 35, 36, a 29, or 28, 29, the, a read of 1164 and 859. This is from Team Group, the MP33. I've put a stack of the 512s in various machines as a boot drive. PCI Express Gen 3x4 with NVMe 1.3. It has a read speed quoted of 1800, a write of up to 1500 megabytes per second. Well, early numbers are in the 2200 range. That should be about 24, 2500 megabytes per second. It's gonna run for 30 seconds. I can run these tests longer afterwards, so we'll see. So that first number came in at 2554 megabytes. So team group with a write speed of 25 is in second place, 2554. So team group's taking a second place position. It's doing the read at very fast speeds. That is doing really well on the reads. So these are all technically TLC flash. So 3551, the team group takes the lead on the reads. Now what's funny is most games are really read dependent, very little writing. You're reading off of the disc to load textures and data. So, you know, you didn't do bad if you bought a team group. It is very close on the write speed and it just squeaked ahead barely on the read speed. The random write test came in at 8.07, so it's a little bit behind the silicone power, but again, we're almost seeing two categories of drives here. And the final test for the evening coming in with the random read, which is ironically gonna look like it's coming slower than the random writes. Five seconds to go, drum roll, two, one. 
Okay, I guess when you actually average it all out, the BW 900 megabytes per second is what it's saying. So it did 27 gigs in that 30 seconds. So 900 puts it into second place for the random reads and a decent showing. So there's the numbers as they came out today. Time Tech, again, shot ahead with the super fast read speed that was unexpected. These numbers, by the way, are all much, much higher than advertised. So maybe it's just Linux loves us, or uh, you know we should do these again under a Windows test. I've got some boards that have secondary NVMe slots. This would be fun to test with like Crystal Disk Mark or something. Random, it's a kind of all over the board. The standout would be the Silicone Power. It has a very fast random read here, faster than anybody by a significant margin, 264 megabytes per second. The random write winner is also the Silicone Power, but followed closely behind by Team Group. The raw write speed, these guys are neck and neck. I think if I did a five minute test, it would be funny to see which one pulls ahead, if any, on these ones, because they're so neck and neck. And it is a little bit higher, you know, maybe five to eight percent here depending on how that multiplies out on the silicone power versus the team group so that's the numbers off the reader board here three of the drives here have a tbw on their warranty of 600 terabytes written the patriots the only one that's a little bit behind patriots very consistent uh side to side here as you can see they all have a five-year warranty